Nordic cuisine is an approach to food that honors ancient methods. Purity, simplicity, freshness. Using Scandinavian techniques with local Minnesotan resources, all of your senses are enlightened, and the result is a thing of beauty. Here at Tulivi, it's a Nordic inspired cabin. There's the dark woods, the rich leathers. Mm -hmm. There's a certain warmth that you can feel, you can smell it. And you just recreate that sense of being out in the wild. In the late 1800s, there was a big affluence of Europeans from the northern countries. They found the climate, the woods, the lakes in Minnesota to be the same as back home. Culture can come through music, can come through language, most likely will come from food. Lafsa, it's almost like a rolled pancake potato, is very traditional. Local Minnesotans, that might be second or third generation, when we put the lafsa on the menu, it's like, just like my grandmother used to make. Another Scandinavian specialty, lutefisk. Fishermen hang their cats to dry by the sea, preserving it in the sun and wind. This dried cod then experiences some unique traditional preparations before the fish is generously salted and cooked. At Tulabi, the lutefisk is combined with the lafsa for a classic dish. How do we start this? So first with the lutefisk, you take the lafsa. You want to keep it in until it's warm. We try to make it the classical way. You get white fish, typically cod. And then what do you put in there? It looks like celery? Celery and leeks. Here is the dill butter. Pipe it on, pickled red cabbage. Ooh, look at that, it's starting to look pretty. You're gonna garnish the lutefisk with dill. Now we'll go back to the lapsa. Mmm. Bring it back over. And there it is. Classic combination of lapsa and lutefisk. It is gorgeous. Making our way across the restaurant, I tried to summon the courage to taste this special dish. In Norway, and okay. before the days of refrigeration, they would dry the fish out. And then to reconstitute the fish, they would put it in water for about four or five days, and then they would soak it in lye. That's where you lose me. You know what else lye is used in? Pretzels and bagels. I love bagels. Bagels use lye to get that nice sheen on the outside. Okay. They basically rinse the lye, and then it has this jelly-like consistency. <laughs> Why would you eat that? Because it's tradition, it's culture. Can I just watch you try it? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's good. Then, then the fish starts coming at the end. <laughs> It actually has a really great flavor, but the thing about lutefisk, it's intense. Why don't you try the bread I, with the butter? I'll do the left some with butter. <laughs> this is good though. I could eat this all day. Okay, it is an acquired taste, and I am on a path to acquiring. <laughs> 